Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, November 7, 2018. I'm Ben Smolden. Yesterday, Democrats took control of the U.S. House. And I'm Michael Cox. And medical marijuana is going to be legal in Utah. The news is next. Noises Off, a hilarious comedy. The show runs this week through Saturday, with evening shows at 7 p.m. and a Saturday matinee at 1 p.m. Tickets are $5 in advance or $8 at the door. This play within a play captures a touring uh, theater troupe's production of Nothing on a Three Stages, dress rehearsal, an opening performance, and a performance. You won't want to miss the, the flying sardines. On Thursday, boxing club meets in the wrestling room. During enrichment, students can schedule themselves. If you are interested, sign up. Students and staff Friday. No, oh, sorry. Students. Students and staff Friday, November 9th is going to be the annual Veterans Day luncheon on, in the library. If you have a military enrolled family member, present or past, invite them and join. You join. Invite them to join you for a. Lunch courtesy of the ASB. Check signs around the campus or stop by A143 for more information. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, National Honor Society is running a food drive November 12th through the 16th to benefit our local Salvation Army. This food drive will be competitive. The mentoring class that collects the most food items wins donuts, and the grade level that collects the most food items will earn spirit points. Today's activities, Veterans Luncheon and walk through on Friday. Stop. Whether you're walking or driving, you need to follow the street signs. Every street sign is there for a reason, to help keep you safe near construction zones or allow you to get where you're going safely. Not only is it the law, it will keep you and your friends safe. Follow the rules of the road. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make yours a great one and see Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 50 with a low of 24. Tomorrow's high is 48 with a low of 19. It's getting pretty chilly out there, so make sure you bring your coats and sweaters. Back to you, Michael. Thanks, Ben. In state election news, Brad Little is our new governor and Janice McGeechan is our new lieutenant governor. Directly affecting you, we have re-elected superintendent of public instruction, Sherry Ibarra, who has won against challenger Cindy Wilson, who appears to have lost by the smallest of margins. Prop 1, known as the Horse Racing Initiative, failed and Idaho residents respondingly passed an expansion of the state's Medicare system. Nationally, Democrats won control of the House and captured pivotal governorships even as Republicans held on their Senate majority. The two parties each had some big successes in the states. Republican governors were elected in Ohio and Florida. Democrats captured the governor's office in Michigan and Wisconsin. And yes, in heavily LDS Utah, medical marijuana was approved by a 53 to 47 percent margin. The SAT word of the day is spurious, which means not genuine, false. You could use it this way. Early reports of free donuts in the cafe turned out to be spurious. Thanks for watching and live, live the, the Bulldog wild way. Cat way. Wildcat way.